you win big or you lose. Unbelievable big. It's 90% pain and 10% joy, so I don't know what I'm doing. It's that relentless and that hamster wheel constantly. There's two games a week and it's uh, you're always preparing to the next game. Try to do everything you can to win it. So you're never resting. Good to go. Good to go. Right. So if you can both your t-shirt yeah. and then I'll yeah. Yeah. That's cold. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? Uh, how are you feeling this morning? Yeah, good. Calm. So now it's calm. Uh, then we have the meeting. Calm. Getting close to the stadium. Okay. Now, now we are getting. You feel a little bit more. Football is such a random game. And it's maybe this uh, difference between the two clubs or teams. The heart rate in itself is not damaging, but it is a marker. When we are nervous, our heart rate will go up. This is a response to adrenaline. So my name is Dr. Nick Pantazopoulos. As a cardiologist, I see people who work in stressful situations all the time. Excessive stress is not very good for our body at all. It raises our heart rate, it raises our blood pressure, it leads to wear and tear on our arteries and on the body organs. Heart health is very, very important. We need to look after ourselves. My name's Nitty Raj. I'm a director of Brentford Football Club. Heart health is something we're passionate about because it's affected us for quite a long time. The situation we experienced with um, with Robert Rowan, our uh, technical director, of course impacted uh, my view on, on heart health. He joined us relatively young and was incredibly passionate about football. So Saturday afternoon we lost to, uh, to QPR and I said, see you after the game and uh, we never did. Robert died from a cardiac issue which affects young people. It's the kind of thing which, if it's identified early, then people can get the right treatment. Getting to the Premier League means we get like a megaphone. If we can use football and the platform that we have to get that message out there, all the better. I have a picture of him on my, on my desk. Good reminder of him, first and foremost. And secondly, football is just a game. Of course, it's not life or death, but in that moment, it's everything. When somebody walks, let's say, out of a tunnel into a very large audience, this immediately releases uh, chemicals such as adrenaline. You look like you're calm and you're on top of everything, but inside, of course, there's a hurricane uh, rushing around in you. So when Thomas feels this nervousness, this is his body telling him that something major is about to happen. It's like you're in your own bubble. You're so focused in it, you don't know what's happening around you. When there is an excessive release of adrenaline, then the heart rate can shoot up quite a lot. Of course, when the, the match starts, that's where you can feel the zoom. When we are angry, our heart rate will go up. I get irritated if they don't took the decision I think they should have done. There's lots of ways in which we feel that we can make an impact to heart health. Obviously screening is massively important. If you screen about 100 people, then you will generally find one or two people who need referral. I need to take a decision about substitution. We do this, go that direction, that's what we do. That is stressful to try to nail it down quick and then deliver.
the next thing for us is CPR training. We do know that in areas where there is higher CPR training, there is increased survival. We've actually had it happen at the stadium recently. Uh, somebody had a cardiac arrest, two people nearby administered CPR, and that person's life was saved. How are you feeling? Good, of course. <laughs> Very good. Uh, after win, you always feel good. So let's let's see what's the highest. We like it, we love it, you know, it's my living, but I think it's more the game in itself that brings us all together. I think Robert would be really proud of what we've achieved, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch too. After a game, it's not a joyful feeling, it's more relief. It's more that, whew, got over the line again. Good, move on, next one.